Hey, what's up everyone? Mike with Imperial Tropicals live at the OCA in Cleveland, Ohio. So, the show's been awesome. I've been up here since Friday. It's Saturday right now, so a little less than 24 hours and it's just been phenomenal. So many great fish keepers from all over the U.S., from our good friends from Germany are here, Hans Evers, and uh, so it's been uh, just a great show. I wanted to show you guys around the show and let you guys know what you're missing if you're not here. I am going to have to go into the showroom first and uh, show you guys the show fish because they're about to do the judging. So we're going to walk quickly. They didn't want to let me in there. And I'm like, really guys? Like, I really want to show everybody the fish because they're about to do the judging. So they're like, yes, just make it quick and sh sweet. And then we got this guy who um, is in charge of everything. And you got to watch out for him because he will kick your butt. So Current payout. <laughs> Current payout on the 50-50? Yeah. 930 bucks hey, and I ain't done selling. Hey, I gave your wife my tickets. So I know. I told her we're spending. I, I don't know where she put them. <laughs> All right, our good friend Jonathan Strzinski. So, um, so here's the, the fish room. And as I was saying, like the the, the knowledgeable fish people that are here, uh, standing in front of you are two guys that have really influenced my life. Eric Bodrock on the right, Hans Evers on the left from Germany. <laughs> and these guys have really influenced my life. Eric, um, right there to the right that you see. Um, I actually did a talk up in Pittsburgh many, many years ago, and when I went by Eric's fish room, it, it, I was just blown away. The guy was breeding so many exotic fish that I'm like, man, this is what we need to do at Imperial Tropical. So uh, Eric was a, a big influence on, on my fish keeping. So, um, all right, we're going to look at some of the show fish. And this guy... Everybody was petting him earlier, but a huge Midas cichlid that always is super interactive. Uh, people were petting him, petting him up top. He comes up to the top, and people scratch his head. Great fish, and I think he'll be definitely a um, a good choice for best in the show. There's another smaller one. Uh, that's a nice Cuban. It actually looks similar to my Cuban. I wonder if um, wonder who put this Cuban in the show. Well, that's a very, very nice Cuban cichlid. Another nice, nice. Oh yeah. Look at that guy. Such great personality. Man. Awesome fish. Kind of gives you an idea how big they actually get. <laughs> That's a, a 20 gallon tank right there, and he's he fills up half of it for sure. Uh, very nice. So, normally I go live after the judging, and this year it's before the judging because I actually fly out in a couple hours. So, I don't know who's going to win this year, but I will be tuning in to find out. Who ends up winning best in show? Yeah. There's a nice, uh, nice Grimaud. I always like the Grimauds. Look at that, Niki. All right, I'll take care of it. Sorry, guys, I'm not answering the uh, the comments. Um, I haven't even looked at them yet, so I wanted to get in and out of this room. There's a nice Managuensis. Really nice fish. Really nice. Here's all the staff that helps uh, put this show together, work their magic. You see uh, Biggs with the bald head right there, the creepy looking guy. So. <laughs> All right, they're actually starting the judging, so they're going to be kicking me out here pretty soon. So I'm going to uh, try to show you guys all the fish real quick. Another nice uh, cockatoo. Very nice. There's our good friend Hans. Oh wow. An arch yes. Those are nice. 
Do we have to eat all of the fish or only the pet fish? All the Very nice. I hope he turns sideways. I won't come back to him. Nice, Texas. Oh, there it is. Very nice. Look at that. Wow. Very nice. First the eye. Did you see that thing? It's spectacular. That's why it's such a beautiful thing. That is. Very nice. Very nice. Oh yeah. I'm gonna stay out of y'all's way. I'm gonna slide around to the other side so they don't kick me out. <laughs> They're judging people that want me out, but I think they'll um, let me slide. Nice Oscar there. Another Oscar. He's not looking all that happy, but nice by quartz eye. Look at that guy. Looks like a Raphael cat. A Cenodoctus angelicus, the true angelicus. Man, they get big. I didn't realize they get that big. Very nice. Nice Mabuna, Elon Goddess. Friar Eye. Red imp, Protomollus, Penialis. See if you turn sideways. Very nice. Lion's Cove, Mabuna, Corridoris. That's the uh, Robin side. Melanesis. Some little guys in here. Looks like a Victorian. That's the hippo point. Zebra oblique it in. Alright, guys, back to the bigger fish. Look at that Fantosa. Oh. Nice male. Got the big hump on his head. He looks nice. He looks nice. Nice bleaker eye. Oh, the butterfucker. These guys are not allowed in Florida. So I've never actually been able to keep them, but man, they are nice fish. Another big tank buster though. Nice tank weekend. Got a little bit of a glare on the tanks. Oh, there's a nice one. Very nice. Trocephalus, another Tanganyikan. Neolamprologus, Nigevenus. A yellow calvus. A Burundi, Malai, dang, lots of Magana with Burundis. Very nice. Red Zebra, OB Zebra. Alright, try to see if there's anything else on this side. A lot of them don't have lights, so um, I'm not even going to bother with those guys because I think they're going to kick me out here pretty soon. This is the judging. They don't look like they're judging though, do they? <laughs> nah, they, uh, they've got some of the best fish keepers in the world right now judging these fish. They're well a tight. The sisters. Oh, look at that guy. That's the whip tail, the chameleon. That's the one that turns black and white. Very nice whip tail. L260, hyphen sisters. Super red, bristle nose. Another fair well of type. 
That's a Hasmin eye. Nice Corey, David Sana eye, Julie. Raphael Cat. Buffonas. Another Buffonas. Albino Hopolo Cat. I've got some of those at the farm stashed away. Another okay, one. Uh, look at that before <laughs> 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 I point oh, you are pointed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey! Nice vampire. L160. Okay, time for the time. Let me find one flat. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Let me run it as fast. Nice discus. I said one flat. Judging room now. Yeah, I just talked to him 20 minutes before judging time. Oh, yeah, I'm here. What time is it? 4 o'clock. That's in 20 minutes. Oh, that's cool. He's probably just gotten at 16. Here's the uh, photo competition. I avoid trying to get my glasses. Nice star sapphire. Be able to see the artwork I'm judging. Uh, he's got lots of, lots of damage in his hands. It's all minor, but he's got lots of damage. Yeah. He's not showing well at all. He's a nice it's a little bit better. No. He's got, he's lost scales all the time. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? All right, here, here goes the peacocks. So, guys, I'm going through this room real quick, and then I'm going to go take you to the, uh, the main room. But I wanted to show you guys some of the show fish. It's been great to see everybody this weekend. Um, everybody's been asking uh, for Sierra. She's uh, she might be actually watching the live feed, but she's not here. But I know a lot of people were asking for it. And okay, nice to got us. Look at that, Steve and I. Very nice, nice link drop. Jack's in the wrong class. Nice lemon jig. Nice otter point. Conan's eye. And just so you guys know, that's Ad Conan's, the man himself. So if you've ever read a book about African cichlids, Ad is the one that wrote the book. One of the leading, leading experts with Lake Malawi fish. It's actually doing the judging right now. That was good. Eighteen. Nice job. Twenty-five. Nice job. Twenty-five. Nice red Anabapo. Nice Oscar. That looks like a Gavino. Nice red. Alright guys, I gotta go. So, I'm out. Alright guys. He's gonna show his face. <laughs> so, hey, this is going to the vendor room. You can thank Jonathan for uh, everything uh, that's screwed up around here. Is Jonathan's fault? <laughs> no, Jonathan uh, actually organizes the vendor room. So that's the show fish room. So we're going to go into the vendor room right now and show you guys all the uh, the vendor setups. So 
I already see a couple people uh, smirking over there. Our, our good friend Dave Hell from from Something Fishy, who is a true fish geek. So, guys, don't forget this face. <laughs> Dave Hell from Something Fishy. So, guys, if you come to Cleveland, you got to check out this this guy's fish shop. It's unbelievable. <laughs> you got Sam, the renowned artist. Where's your art artwork? You got a booth set up? Inside, yeah. Let's go take a look at it. All right, guys, we're going to go right to Sam's booth, and then we're going to walk around and show you everything else that's going on around here. Look at all these caves made up. Never seen so many caves. Look at that. Artwork. Yes. Phenomenal job. So if you want to breed fish, these are the caves that you need to do it. Get this fish Before he sells them. Yeah. This thing. <laughs> oh wow. Nice. What is this fish? Yeah. That's Leptodorus juruensis. Nice. You don't see those very often. Wow. Probably the first time most people have ever seen them. Yeah. Very nice. Nice royal plico there in the back. Yeah, I've never seen one. So nice. That's this, pretty cool. This Paul from Connecticut? Hey, yes, we met Paul. Yes, yes. He's a big part of the ACA setup this year. So and then in appreciate the, the show. Sticking on the theme is Paulina. Paulina, Hi. nice to meet you. Yes, and what do you carry? I'm here with Aquatop, so full line aquatics products. Nice. Made by hobbyists for hobbyists, reliable yeah. and affordable. Nice. All types of filtration and tanks and a little bit of everything. Hi. Yeah, a little bit of everything except yeah. for fish food. Yeah. Nice. I like the nano things. Yeah, those are brand new. They've been received very well. Very popular. This one's really popular with the aquascapers. Yeah. Just because you have so much viewing surface area. Yeah. And shrimp keepers. Nice. I like it. Very nice. Nano tanks are big, especially for the shrimp guys. They're, uh, oh, yeah. They've been very popular. Yeah. Now, we, we sell a lot of shrimp. Shrimp are very, very popular. So, very fun to keep. Oh, yeah. And they have so many pretty colors. So, yeah, I didn't know you guys made sponge filters, too. We need to talk to you, I guess, about sponge filters. Yeah, that's so. actually one of our, like, bread and butter top sellers is our sponge filters. Yeah. We encourage people um, that are setting up multiple tanks to, to use sponge filters because you can use the central air, and yeah, it's absolutely. a lot easier to maintain. Totally. I 100% agree. And our little tiny one's actually cute. So instead of a weight, we use gravel. But that actually opens up, so you could put your own media in there. You could oh, put nice. charcoal in there if you the wanted. Right there. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. And then our ne uh, more niche thing that we do is we have products with UV. Yeah. So these um, canister filters actually have a built-in UV sterilizer in them. Nice. As well as this hang on the back, too. Yeah. Nice. No, I like it. Guys, you need to check out Aquatops. <laughs> so give us some feedback in the Facebook group, guys, if you are using them. And if you're not using them, try them out. Let us know how they work. So nice. All right. Thank oh, you. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Yes. Our good friend Aquatica, Steve Shen's shop. You can see Steve right there working uh, with the customer, showing them how um, something works. So Steve's got a great shop here in Cleveland. So great asset for the hobby. All right, so here, here we go. Here's Sam's artwork right here. What's up, guys? So. Come out here to Cleveland. This is one of the greatest shows. Yes. Some of the best people out here. Absolutely. So. Um, Sam comes all the way from the West Coast, San Diego, representing in the house. So show us some of the new work you've been working on, Sam. Well, you guys haven't seen already. Wow. This is the logo for the awesome. Nice. This week, this year's uh, 25th anniversary extravaganza. Nice. See that right there. You got the shirts, too. Every year, Sam designs the shirts. Nice. I'm going to have to get one before I go. Nice. <laughs> Nice. 25th year this show's been in, in, in going on, and it's uh, by far my favorite show that I attend every year. One of so. the new ones right there. Nice. Original's owned by Paul over here. <laughs> nice. Lucky me. <laughs> so, guys, Sam is a phenomenal artist. Like, a couple years ago at, at ACA in Boston, Sam, like, sketched out a hypothesis luteus for me. Like, as we were having a conversation, having drinks, this guy worked for several hours and just sketched me out the best hypothesis luteus I've ever seen drawn. It was phenomenal. Oh, I like the sunfish. Long ear sunfish. Nice. A little beta even. Nice. Where can they find your artwork, Sam? I'll tell you what, they can find it right there. Yeah. 
All right. So Google Skills Nature Artists. On Facebook? Yeah. That's my email. There's my Instagram. Nice. Yes, yeah, so guys, if you're looking for artwork, he even does custom artwork. But just so you know, it takes a lot of work to do custom. So, but if you want something custom made, Sam's your man for, for doing it. So he, he does an amazing job. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> Thank you. Really nice. Every year, you got a great selection of books. Uh, books are a dying, uh, dying thing in the U.S. But uh, for fish keepers. There's so much knowledge in these books that um, are not on the internet. So um, we were talking about Ad Konings earlier. Like this is the ultimate Ad Konings book right here. So um, you know, um, I often uh, joke around about how um, Americans do not like to read. They like YouTube. So you know, here's your YouTube video. But if you really want to learn in-depth information, I would check out the uh, books. You know, I mean, these books are not on the internet. And back in the day, this was the only way for us to learn about these fish are through the books, through the encyclopedias of books. And it's been, um, it's been great to uh, still have books around because in the future, I think um, there'll be less and less books available. So, um, uh, but I highly suggest, you know, hey, Keith, good. How you doing? Good seeing you. Good to see you. Yeah. Hey, where can they find the books at if they want to buy them? Fishlit.com. Fishlit. No, no, fishlit. At Comcast.net. At Comcast.net. One of, one of my long-term uh, projects has been to get a website. I don't have one put together. Yeah. Can, can you imagine listing all this? Oh, stuff? wow. Yes. <laughs> so so. But yeah, if you yeah. drop me an email at uh, Fishlit, that works. Fishlit. Yeah. Comcast.net. Yep. Comcast.net. Yes. Thank you, Mike. Yes, no problem. You got the Amazonas Magazine, which is the premier magazine in the fish hobby. So... Our good friend Stefan Tanner is, is actually taking over the U.S. edition, and man, um, this light and day night and day difference between this and some of the other fish magazines out there. This is actual good information, and and we really love them. So, but yeah, the books are ph phenomenal. Tell them back in the day, that's how we that's how we learned, right? So, we didn't. Yes, Ross Sokolofi's book, Tropical Fish Addict. I've read it like three times. It gives a great history of uh, Florida fish breeding. So when Ross went down there and actually started breeding quality fish and got them into the hobby, uh, so. Pioneer in the industry down there. Yes. Uh, if, you ever, if you had ever met Ross, the book is written just like the way it's spoken. Just like Ross. Yes. No, we did. He was uh, a good friend of the family, and we, we I knew him when I was just a kid. Yeah. But uh, the book is phenomenal about the history of the Florida um, breeding world you know about how it started and um how big it got and you know yeah yes so all right yeah we're working on a new building yeah needing volunteers for the plastic yeah we're needing we, we got help but we were needing help so yeah we're covering up getting ready for winter time so yeah that's good yeah we don't live in chicago where it gets too cold so <laughs> All right, guys, there's the books. Yeah, the L. Wise books. I remember reading those books back in the day. I'm sure Ingo Sedell's got several books. The Aquarium Atlas. These used to be only printed in, in German, uh, Germany. And finally, they started making them in English. So... These poor people that can't uh, speak more than one language could actually read the Aquarium Atlas, but phenomenal book. Uh, you got Indian almond leaves, you got fish for sale, lots of people. Our good friend Stefan Tanner selling his Swiss Tropicals foam. <laughs> You got our good friend Mike Cichlitz, Mike Zumagala, right there on the left. I've known him since I was a kid. <laughs> phenomenal guy, phenomenal breeder, good friend of mine. So guys, the show is phenomenal. As you can see, it's very crowded, lots of people. It's, uh, it's been a great, great time. So. I'm gonna try to make my round way around to the back of the room. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. Let's see some 
discus there. You got you got Fritz set up here in the back. Our good friend Jay Wilson. I know everybody knows Jay. You can see Jay working hard. Or hardly working. I don't know which one. Right. Look at Jay. That's some customer service right there. Look at that. Look at that. You, nobody can ever say Jay Wilson never worked. <laughs> What's up, dude? Got him in action. <laughs> you having a good time? Ah, is great this time. Live? This is live. Um, dude, your like phone is all metallic yet, so I can see myself. In yeah, it. it looks good from this end. Trust oh, me. Good, so. good, good. <laughs> well, it's awesome to have Mike Grady in the house. Yes. Hands down. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, Jay took my spot this year. I and, did. Um, yeah. I did. I didn't. No, no, I didn't take it. <laughs> I'm here because you you didn't bring all of the production. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. Sometimes you have to enjoy a show. You can't always be working. Yeah, so this is like the like first right year now, we didn't set up. So, um, so no, it worked out good. So um, we'll split the booth next year. How about that? All right, so. we'll split. <laughs> it's good seeing you. Yeah, dude. good seeing you too. Thanks, Jay. Hey, how's it going, man? Good seeing you. Nice to see you. Yeah. A lot of fish brought to the show. I'm not sure whose fish these are, but brought a bunch of um, plecos. There's a gold nugget, uh, some clown knives, which get really, really big. Patrick Stevens is asking for a link to that book place. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna go ask them to uh, to show us a business card. Hey, do you have a business card I could show everybody on the stream or something? Where, where can I, they're asking about that link on how to find the books. I told them, but like verbally, I think if I could see it, it would be better. That's the book I was telling you about with Ross Sokolofi, The Tropical Fish Addict. Phenomenal book about the history of uh, fish eating. Really like it. You see a lot of Ad Koning's books. Oh yeah, it'll show up. So, all right, guys, the Fish Factory. Mike Shadle. His email is fishlit at cast.net. So, guys, I'm holding it up here. You're gonna have to screenshot it and contact Mike for some books. So, <laughs> all right, thanks, Mike. All right, guys, we're going to walk through the uh, the lobby and show you guys. Um, there's our good friend Steve. Steve in action. Are you live? Yeah, we're live. So <laughs> tell everybody hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> we were videotaping you from behind while you were help, helping a customer. So it's telling them about your shop. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry, I haven't been answering any questions because um, it was kind of crazy just to just to keep up with the camera work. So that's why I need a sidekick, somebody that operate the camera. But lots of good fish talks from people all over the U.S. Um, as you walk into the convention, um, you'll see some big display tanks. And oh, nice. <laughs> We actually got somebody watching the live feed live. So here we are. You can see yourself on the feed, right? So <laughs> cool, man. Uh, so these are uh, some display tanks that we donated the fish for. So uh, we set up a Mabuna tank. We set up a rainbow tank. And we set up a Central American tank. Now, they ended up mixing the Centrals and the rainbow fish. And they seem to be doing fine. So we were quite worried when we first seen them do it, but it seems to have worked out pretty well. The rainbow fish seem to be um, not getting beat up by the centrals. You can see some fire mouth in there. You can see some turquoise, some Blair rainbows. This is the um, Perictes minklei. 
So everything uh, shipped up pretty well. You can see some young Jack Dempsey's in the tank. Nice fire mouth. Hey, what's up, Tom from Malibu? Guys, I'm sorry I haven't been um, answering any uh, questions. I know you guys have been posting, so um, I'll try to scroll through some of them um, before I shut it down. So, um, again, we're live at the ACA show in Cleveland, Ohio. This is the Ohio Cichlid Association Extravaganza, and it's just a, a big a big blast. We've really enjoyed this show. By far our favorite show that we attend every year. Guys, I don't want you thinking that it's okay to keep centrals and rainbows together. They are working out for right now, but I promise you that these Paracromus Locellii will tear the rainbows up at some point. So they seem to be doing okay now, but this is just a temporary, temporary housing for those guys. So don't mix centrals and rainbows together. Yeah, you can see some of the Locellii. Beautiful fish. You see that guy right there. All right, uh, on top of that, everybody sets up in the room and has all types of fish in the room. So we're gonna surprise some people by walking in the room and showing you guys the room setups. So this is unique to the OCA where you have I don't know, I would say at least 50 people that have impressive tank setups in the room. So like, here's one, they put a list up of all the fish that they have. They accept all major credit cards. Guys, I'm gonna walk in here, is that okay to yeah. shoot a little clip? Yep, it's just a little bit messy because we're just getting set back up from the swap. No, it's all right. This is pretty impressive that you've even set it up. That's a, oh. that's very nice. So you can see uh, all the fish bagged up, ready to go. Done anything over here at all? Nice. Did it, wait, is that Actually here? built racks, and this is a hotel room, guys. <laughs> this is all set up just for the OCA. Selling bags. He's got a. A packing table set up here over the bed. Crazy. Very impressive. That might be it. Okay. He wasn't working in the styrofoam, but yeah. It is insane, Sierra. It's insane. Like you can see uh, this guy scribbled out a bunch of stuff, but he was selling stuff in his room. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Good. You see another room set up, selling fish. I'm just going to peek in here and show you guys. Hey. So that, that's what makes the OCA so great is that these rooms are open for people to just walk in, socialize, buy fish, um, and it's it's pretty insane some of the setups they have. Thank you. Oh, what's up? <laughs> I think we're in the right room. Lots of fish. You okay if I come in here and film? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. I know you are, I just wanna ask. <laughs> some nice mabunas. Got what was the deal super on the red fins. That some big red fins too. Are you able to tell? Um, Look at these guys. What? Right, right. No, I know that. I definitely get males and females. Some negotiation going on right here. Nice. It's a great place for that. People come in and um, find the fish that they're looking for. Hey. Looks like a better room right here. Hey, Kenneth. Hey, how you doing? You're going to show them some of your fish. You ain't got no love. That's good, though, right? Yeah. 
No, I can't take any fish back, but just showing them the racks. No, I'm I'm not shipping anything back this year. I'm strictly a hobbyist at the show this year. Oh, what is that? Yeah. Man, that's a, what is that? A, what kind of bushy nose is that? Is that a calico? L255. L255? Or uh, like a Medusa? Medusa, yeah. The females got the fur down on the bottom of the lip. The yeah. The really like <laughs> liking. All right, we're just making a round, so. <laughs> Thank you. That's an I think it's Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's a 255, but it was a very nice bushy nose, very nice. The Medusas are, are, are a lot flatter and wider and um, more black with some spots. You care if I come in and film a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? It, it, is Tom surviving? Is is he up? Well, I lost him again. I saw, <laughs> I saw him a few like ten yeah. minutes ago. Like, yeah. Fourth floor. So oh, okay. He's still he's still yeah. walking. Yeah. So. yeah. Some nice live bears. My really nice. Like or Very yeah. nice. Some comps. You still have any of those pandas that you bought from Tom a few years back? The panda guppies. guppies? No, they did not make it. Uh, they didn't make the no, well, no, they, they at home they didn't make it. They oh. for like, I think it was just the stress of shipping. Uh, but no, I'm I'm going to get some more from him at some point. That was I think I got those at the swap. I think if I remember right. Yeah, in Chicago. Yeah. yeah. So, very nice man. I love the shells for the shellies. So, all right, man. Thank you. No problem. Yeah. See ya. Oh, no, sorry. you're good. You're good. <laughs> you're good. You're good. <laughs> Okay. all right guys there's room after room after room this is just a few of the rooms so i'm not going to show you all of them there is one room that i am going to take you to because they are huge huge fans of ours and we're huge fans of them and that's the gooman twins so we're going we're going to go down there and get a laugh because these guys should be stand-up comedians <laughs> and i know they're going to get a kick from um uh, being live with you guys, so if they're in the room, which I'm sure they are. Hey, how's it going? Good, man. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right. There he is. So there's one of them. <laughs> so here we go. The suspense is building. <laughs> I am. I'm not leaving yet. I had to come back and see you guys. So tell Hello, everybody, everybody hi. <laughs> we love Mike. <laughs> He's our hero. <laughs> yes. And, and who do you want to see next year? You better get your butt up here, Sierra, girl. Don't make us come down there, girl. You've <laughs> got to come up here. <laughs> you belong to us. <laughs> so, uh, guys, the OCA is a phenomenal show, and you guys are a big part of it because you're so damn funny. Jeez, oh, I mean, is it, were you born that we way? Paid to do, yeah, were you born that way? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're not going to have a good time, then don't come. <laughs> absolutely. That's all. It's all about the fun and making money, too. But. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, I want to come down here and tell you goodbye. So. Oh, you're leaving? Oh. Yes, we, I am leaving. So all right, we're going well, out with a bang. So. All right, well, good trip and yeah. get your work done. Donald. All right, appreciate yeah, it, guys. Right, we're coming you. down. One yes, day, come maybe. see us. Now, we're not going to tell you either. We're just no, gonna show up one day. All right, thank you. All right, guys, we had to come see the Gooman brothers. Twins, and they are hilarious. Funny, funny guys. All right. So, guys, I've been up here for 24 hours, and I am exhausted. I'm actually catching a plane here in a few hours to fly back to uh, Florida. Uh, this is the first year that we haven't set up at the OCA in several years and You know, it kind of felt weird to be honest with you not having a display, but at the same time it was just a 
kind of a relief not to be stressed out and being a slave to the tanks, you know. It was um, it was a great time at the show this year. So I um, was really glad that I was able to come up and see everybody and enjoy the show. So guys, when I get done with the end of the hallway, I'm going to sit down, try to read some of your comments, answer some of your questions, and then I'm going to wrap it up and say my goodbyes and head back to the Sunshine State. It is very, very cold in Nevada right now. It was 27 degrees when I was out there earlier, and that's, that's too cold for this Florida boy. Joe, how's it going? Right. Good, good. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how's it going? He was watching it earlier. He said, "Want to meet you?" Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, tell everybody in the Rainbow Fort world you said hi. So, <laughs> a lot of friends of us down south and out west. Yes, yes. Enjoying the warm weather. Enjoying the warm weather. <laughs> The tropical weather. <laughs> hey, how's it going? How you doing? Good, good. How you doing? Good. Yeah. I bought fish off you. Did you really? Yeah, yeah. Good. I appreciate yeah. it. So they're all doing good, right? Every one of them. Nice. Awesome. I appreciate yeah. that. Thanks for the feedback. Okay. Guys, Whew. it's exhausting. All right. So I'm gonna start from the bottom. Um, hey, Avenger Revolution, will you guys ever carry arowanas? Yes, as long as you have a tank big enough, I will sell you an arowana one day. But it won't be until our new fish room is ready, all right? Because um, we don't have enough tanks right now. And we're working on the new building. And when that building is ready, we're going to um, have plenty, plenty of space to bring in some arowanas, silver, black, unfortunately not the Asian arowana. Uh, but the silver and blacks we're allowed to have in the U.S., so um, for sure those we will. So I'm going to scroll down. Big IZ support group says he was there. Oh, almost stepped off the sidewalk. He says he's home now. Nice. Glad you were able to come. Patrick Stevenson. Yeah, a kilted fish keeper like me. Yeah, the one guy every year he wears a kilt. Jack says it's the mid 60s. Nice. That's not too bad. Better than 27 in Ohio. Sunny and 75 in Florida. Sierra says nice. I can't wait to get back. This is um, it's a little too much for a Florida boy. Uh, IBPPL says well deserved mini vacation. Yeah, it was kind of like a vacation. I mean, uh, got to see a lot of good friends and. Uh, you know, I love it. So, a mod with a donation. Enjoy some coffee or hot chocolate. I need some. I need some for sure. Uh, Cunningham is answering. So I'm answering these questions in reverse. So, guys, if um, there's a conversation going on in the comments, I might mess it up. But uh, so yes, the OCA is every year in Cleveland, Ohio, at the Holiday Inn in Strongsville, Ohio, and uh, it's been here for 25 years. So. Uh, Jack, uh, we are going to be on the West Coast, most likely, in Sacramento, California, for the ACA, the American Cichlid Association, which typically is in July, uh, June, July time frame, summertime, so there's a good chance we're personally going to be out there, but for sure the show is going to be out there in Sacramento, so it'd be great to see all our West Coast people at that show. I know Sacramento is kind of out in the middle of nowhere, California, but still i mean how many times does a, a big show come to the west coast so i think it'd be great to see everybody there wilmington's in the house patrick stevenson uh patrick stevenson says he was there two weeks ago could have got books from it the guy he mike said he could um just emailing so uh Ahmad says he just joined 
So yeah, since you kind of agrees, I, I hope it was just something good. Uh, Ken says, hi, Mike from Chicago. Jax, this is too weird in the rooms. It, it was the first time I've seen it, but now it's like, it, it kind of is like one big fish family, you know? I mean, everybody's like really nice and cool and supportive. So yeah, I admit it was weird at first. The first year that I showed, I was like, man, you know, like people just walking in and out of rooms, but now it's like, man, that's that's pretty cool that um, it's set up that way. <laughs> Zen Green Ginger says, holy portable fish store, Batman. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Uh, Kimo says he finally figured out how to put a pick in his login. Nice. So I can't see your pick because it's like a little like dot, but nice, Kimo. Go to Josh's room. So I don't even know where Josh's room is. I don't even think I've seen Josh here at the show. I don't know if I keep missing him. Josh Cunningham, where are you at? I haven't seen you yet. So I know a bunch of people from Michigan are here. I know Michigan's only like two and a half hours away from here. So I'm sure Josh is here, but I haven't seen him. Um, the straw egg productions asking if chameleons are rare in the in the hobby. Yes, they are rare um, They are 99% of them are wild caught and uh, they're pretty pricey to bring in and they're a little bit sensitive when they first come in from the wild So they are a little bit rare All right Tom from Malibu big J's fish keeper thumbs up All right guys. Hey, I see a lot more that I'm missing but I got to wrap it up because I got to go get on an airplane and I got to get back to Florida. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, the tour around the OCA. Um, I know we didn't set up this year, but it was really, really good to come up here and see everybody. So I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough and, you know, guys comment uh, below and let us know next year, you know, if you're going to go to the OCA, you know, or the ACA, which is going to be in Sacramento. So appreciate the support everybody's given Imperial over, over the, the last few years. Um, without you guys, we couldn't be here. So um, big shout out to you guys. And uh, we're going to keep working really hard at what we do to uh, to keep supplying the hobby with some 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 awesome fish. So uh, thank you for everything. I got to go catch a plane. Thank you, guys.